Healthcare experts want to inform the public about what steps to take when the vaccines do become available. ABC 17's Chanel Porter is live tonight from University Hospital in Columbia after learning about the distribution process. Chanel, you got answers today to questions some people in the community have about the vaccine. Deb Lucas, I spoke to a member of MU Healthcare's vaccine committee earlier today, and she answered questions about receiving the vaccine against COVID-19. Clinics are trying to avoid waste of the COVID-19 Pfizer vaccinations that need to be kept in ultra cold storage freezers. And once that vial is opened, it's only good at room temperature um, for about Let's see, it's six hours um, after it's opened. Day says with specific storage requirements, the vaccine is not well suited to get at your local doctor's office and they will be opening a clinic at Faro Field. Energies right now at MU Healthcare with regard to the COVID-19 vaccine are to set up um, public events and a public location uh, to be able to receive the vaccine there. 74-year-old Lonnie Blackwood of Boone County says he and his wife had the virus at the end of November. Well, here we are a couple months down the road. Do we get the vaccine? Would that be beneficial to us or should we wait three, six months to, to get it? Blackwood has been told different time frames for antibodies to stay in his system. You, you could consider uh, delaying your vaccination for 90 days after a COVID infection. It is absolutely acceptable for you to go ahead and take that vaccination as well. As long as you don't get the vaccination within 10 days of a positive COVID test, healthcare experts advise you to get it as soon as it becomes available. If we do get the vaccine, they say you have a follow-up in, I think, 10 days or what if you're out of the country and you don't get to make the 10 days? Day says after receiving that first dose, you are only about 52% protected from the virus. That second dose will up it to 90 to 95%. Live in Columbia, Chanel Porter, ABC 17 News. You can sign up for vaccine availability notifications through the City of Columbia's website.